When people hear words like risk, threat, and vulnerability, they often think they're just fancy cybersecurity jargon that all mean the same thing. But here's a simple way to picture it. Imagine you leave your front door unlocked. There's a burglar wandering around the neighborhood. And you've got a $5,000 gaming PC sitting in full view by the window. The vulnerability? That's the unlocked door. The threat? The burglar. And the risk? The chance the burglar notices the door, sneaks in, and steals your setup, leaving you crying into a bag of Doritos. Understanding these three terms is key to understanding cybersecurity, and today, we're going to break it all down. First up, vulnerability. A vulnerability is a weakness, a flaw, or a gap. In cybersecurity, that might be old, unpatched software, a weak password, or an open port. In everyday life, it's like wearing flip-flops on a mountain hike. Technically, you can do it, but you probably shouldn't. Next, we have a threat. A threat is anything that can exploit that weakness. It could be a hacker, malware, or even an insider threat. In real life, think of a hungry raccoon eyeing your trash can. That's your threat. And no, antivirus software does not work on raccoons. Finally, there's risk. Risk is the chance and the impact if the threat actually succeeds. In cybersecurity, it's the potential damage from a data breach or a ransomware attack. In everyday life, it's the probability that you spill coffee on your laptop right before a deadline, plus how loudly you'll scream if it happens. Here's the golden triangle. Risk equals threat times vulnerability times impact. If you have no threat, you have no risk. If you have no vulnerability, you have no risk. If the impact is low, the risk is minor. For example, imagine a server running old software. There's a hacker scanning the internet for that vulnerability. And sensitive customer data is stored on the server. That's a risk cocktail and unfortunately, not the fun kind. Here's where people often get it wrong. Not every vulnerability equals risk. For example, an old server that's unplugged still has a vulnerability, but without an active threat, there's no real risk. Not every threat equals risk either. If a hacker can't reach a system because it's isolated, there's no risk. It's like a mosquito banging against a glass window. Annoying, sure, but harmless. Security teams spend a lot of time figuring out where the real risk is so they know where to patch, monitor, or invest resources. Even if you're not working in cybersecurity, this matters. Companies don't fix every vulnerability. They prioritize based on risk, not just the number of flaws. And let's be honest, we all take risks online. Whether it's clicking sketchy links or using the same password for Netflix and your bank. Yes, I know some of you do that. Understanding these concepts makes you a smarter and safer digital citizen. So, next time someone asks, what's the risk here? You can confidently say, well, that depends on the threat landscape and our vulnerabilities. Or, you know, something like that. Drop a comment below and tell me, which cybersecurity term has always confused you? I might cover it in a future video. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button like a hacker pounding on a firewall, unsuccessfully, of course. Subscribe for more mind-bending security topics here on The Cyber Paradox, our NADU and NADU. Stay safe, stay curious, and maybe lock your front door.